Happy midweek from us at My Media Prime Television. You are on to your favorite bilingual program, The Brief, which is dedicated to the review of striking headlines in the papers. On today's edition of uh, the program, the papers uh, are interested in uh, uh, the death of uh, the mayor of Njombe Penja. He will be buried today. And equally, the papers will be talking about uh, uh, what is happening at the helm of the Social Democratic Front Party, the SDF, with an ultimatum issued to uh, the NEC or National Executive Committee by the President or the Regional President of the Social Democratic Front Party, Honorable Jean Michel Ninche, and more uh, will be yours in the minutes ahead. And Audrey Zagza is already around as usual to read the headlines uh, to you in the French language. Good morning, Audrey. Bonjour à vous, mesdames, messieurs. Merci de nous retrouver une fois de plus pour débrief. Et on débute tout de suite avec le journal bleu de Aman Mana, le jour qui parle de meurtre au lycée. D'après le journal, des élèves tuent leurs camarades et leurs enseignants dans les enceintes des établissements scolaires où règne l'insécurité et violence. C'est à lire, en tout cas, le dossier est à lire euh, dans la page 2 à 3 euh, du journal Bleu le jour. Poursuivons avec le tri hebdo le soir qui parle de la crise anglophone. L'État oublie-t-il les entreprises dévastées par les rebelles C'est la question que se posent nos confrères d'après eux. Que ce soit pour les sociétés publiques ou privées vandalisées lors des conflits, aucune mesure de sauvetage annoncée dans le programme de reconstruction et de développement lancé il y a plus de 11 mois par l'État n'a pas été mise en application, ce qui explique les fermetures, les arrêts d'activité, les, dégrais, les dégraissages et les, déco, les délocalisations. Euh, le journal parle également de l'insécurité euh, qui empêche d'assurer la santé euh, des déplacés. Bien sûr, euh, on parle du coronavirus en zone de conflit. Voilà, poursuivons avec l'aigle du Sahel qui a sa une titre coup série, près de 500 boutiques parties en flammes. C'était justement il y a deux jours de ce côté-là du Grand Nord. Terminons donc avec la voix des décideurs qui parle de la résolution de la crise anglophone. Appelle à, nouveau, à un nouveau dialogue plus inclusif. C'est la une que propose ce journal, toujours dans le même journal. Succession de Paul Biya, Femme Ndongo, élimine Franck Biya, le Cameroun n'est pas une monarchie d'après FAME. Donc, madame, messieurs, c'est tout pour les tableaux en langue française. Place au tableau en langue anglaise avec toi, la Chaque Kingsley. Thank you, Odessa. Let's kick start uh, this uh, morning with the Eden newspaper, the Eden newspaper which uh, took interest in the death of uh, Paul Eric Kinge, the mayor of Njombe Penja, who will be buried today. He died uh, on Monday here at uh, the military hospital in uh, Douala. The paper says uh, Paul Eric Kinge, like Patrick Ikema dies in his prime uh, to be buried today in Njombe Penja. Meanwhile, Kamto pays homage to a former ally. Former ally should be recalled that uh, uh, the mayor of Njombe Penja, Paul Eric Kinge, was the campaign manager of Professor Maurice Kamto during the 2018 presidential elections uh, in Cameroon. And uh, still in with the Eden newspaper to talk about this headline, men's infidelity pushed me to prefer sex with women. That's uh, Quineva Ayuk. Uh, he made a revelation recently. The African uh, continent, according to the paper, has uh, presented itself as the most dangerous uh, uh, place for homosexuals to thrive, no matter how hard they strive. In 2019, according to the paper, Zambia sentenced two men to 15 years in prison for having consensual sex in the uh, privacy of the hotel room. And in November, Uganda police rounded up 125 persons in a gay-friendly bar in uh, the capital, Kampala, dozens of who faced uh, charges. According to the paper, more details in this edition of uh, the newspaper. And the paper equally revisits uh, the uh, incident which happened in Limbe recently where a mud cement truck uh, uh, ran into uh, the population in Limbe, killing uh, three and wounding several others, as you can see on your screen. 
and on to municipal updates newspaper transport minister according to the paper reviews major causes of uh, road accident in the country and meanwhile parliamentary network on road safety being uh, led by honorable malomba rallies a nation to curb accidents on its uh, highway more details only in this edition of uh, municipal updates uh, newspaper and the Laxion newspaper this morning is interested in the 36th anniversary of the uh, ruling CPD and party. According to the paper, there will be no mega rally this year due to coronavirus uh, pandemic. So the militants of uh, the 36-year-old uh, party will be commemorating this year's uh, anniversary of the party uh, without having mega rallies as has always been the case. And uh, also talking about this ruling CPD and party validation of organs in uh, uh, northern Italy, consultations to take place over Zoom uh, because of COVID-19. According to the paper, due to the COVID-19 related restrictions, militants abroad are relying on uh, social media platforms to, conv uh, to convey messages on uh, the validation process to uh, militants. More details in this edition of L'Action newspaper. We end uh, with the Guardian Post newspaper, which is uh, focusing this morning to uh, on an in ultimatum, rather let's put it that way, ultimatum to the neck uh, by Honorable Jean-Michel Nietzsche. The paper writes that uh, you will have to choose between O.C. Joshua and Littera SDF, those are the words of Honorable Jean-Michel Nietzsche, Regional President of the Social Democratic Front Party, the SDF, uh, uh, obliging the neck to choose between Honorable O.C. Joshua, who is the first Vice National Chairman, and uh, him leading SDF uh, Littora. Uh, more details in this edition of uh, the Guardian Post newspaper. And the paper also took interest in the Babaju route, which, according to the paper, government has maintained provocative silence over the route that uh, construction works were launched on. Uh, uh, that's in 2017, and up to now, nothing has been done on that uh, stretch of route. And the paper is warning government this morning, or cautioning government, uh, to stop playing with fire, according to the paper. The Babaju Road, which has apparently been abandoned by government, is a time bomb, uh, 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 according to the Guardian Post News. So government should stop playing with fire, according to the paper. Thank you, televiewers, for watching. We are back in the studio to meet our guest, uh, who is a special advisor to Professor Maurice Kamto. He's just uh, back from Yaoundé and is joining us this morning on uh, the brief. Thank you so much, uh, Mutaga Tifu, for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Lasha Kingsley. Good morning to Audrey Zaza, and good morning to all the millions of uh, televiewers of uh, the brief on my major prime TV. It's an honor for me uh, being here this morning, especially to shed light on the newspaper headlines. Permit me, thank God Almighty, for joining mercies. As you rightly said, I was in Yaoundé yesterday, and. Uh, by the grace of God, I had to drive back safely. Okay. Uh, let's start with the Guardian uh, Post newspaper, uh, not rather the Eden newspaper, not the Guardian Post, talking about homage that has been paid uh, to late or the fallen mayor of Njombe Penja. But apparently something is not right somewhere with some militants of your party who are celebrating the death of this mayor. Meanwhile, uh, your party president is celebrating his former ally, or ally uh, for what uh, collaboration they had in the past, though things didn't move well along the line. Mr. Nasha Kingsley, uh, I walked all through with uh, Eric King in 2018 during the presidential elections. Remember, he was uh, then the uh, campaign manager of uh, Professor Maurice Kamto, and I was uh, the uh, deputy uh, spokesperson during that uh, edition, that 2018 presidential elections. I want to say Eric Kinge was a very charismatic, uh, spare binding orator. He had an incredible, monstrous uh, potential. He could speak to construct and could speak to, de to, de to destroy, depending on the, 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 the target or the vision he had. So uh, I think he did a very impeccable job with the CRM 
during that presidential campaign of uh, 2018 and even during the uh, resistance campaign that was launched by the CRM and Allies, that is a uh, hold up, electoral hold up. So his death is a great loss for our nation, Cameroon, because I don't think that would have aired, it would be it would be easy for us to have any uh, politician like uh, that of uh, uh, the caliber of Eric Kinge, who spent almost eight years in prison just simply because he wanted justice to be done in his uh, local uh, government area. That's uh, the Jumbe area municipality. Yeah. So Eric Kinge uh, was one of those uh, politicians that could uh, defend his convictions right up to the end, despite the opposition that he might find on his way. Uh, his death is being received by most militants of the Cameroon Renaissance movement with a lot of mixed feeling. There are those who might think that uh, he did a lot of harm to the Cameroon Renaissance movement because you can remember after their, uh, uh, the, their release from the Kondenge Center prison, they went loggerhead because Professor Maurice Kamte refused uh, uh, aligning in with other parties for the uh, twin elections, parliamentary and municipal elections. But it's not enough reason for anybody to, to wish anyone death in this nation because no matter our differences in opinion, no one will ever wish a Cameroonian death. And we have seen the example with your national president yes. celebrating him for his, uh, his uh, charismatic I was at the exemplary leadership. You're right. At the national directory meeting yesterday, I think we, ob we observed a minute of silence in honor of uh, uh, the former mayor of uh, Njombe Penjad, who's of late. So you can imagine it. it. Remember, he died in active service. So we, most of us mourned his death. I think you could see the way Professor Kamto was very sad. Many of the uh, members of the National Directorate, uh, if not all of them, were not really very happy with the passing of our uh, former allies. So, uh, and the President of Cameroon Racer Movement uh, frowned and they want some of those, you know, there are always three uh, goats in every uh, <laughs> okay. uh, every uh, association. So there are some who wanted to look at it as if it is a, a relief. It's never been a sign of relief for the CRM because we like uh, it. Is, you know, they don't criticize somebody who is not uh, powerful, who is not tough. You know, when you are a tough opposition leader, as Professor Morris comes to very charismatic as he is, there are certain things that some of your allies may want to propose to you if you don't buy and they find that their interest is being um, uh, tempered upon they will tend to criticize you but as a man who is a leader and uh, aspires to rule this country you have to contain everyone okay now do j'ai envie qu'on parle un petit peu de ce journal le soir de du titre en fait de la une de le soir qui parle de la crise anglophone et se pose la question L'État oublie-t-il les entreprises dévastées par les rebelles Ça se passe comment de ce côté-là, euh, des de crises, de, de, des zones en crise en fait, par rapport aux entreprises Les entreprises. Uh, And that those zones, just to add, Audrey, have been declared as um, economic. Uh, economic loss in street. Yes, meaning that if you are operating businesses there, you don't have to pay taxes. You just you just operate because of the situation there. All right. His Elisha's Kingsley, looking at the economic atmosphere, uh, that is the socio-political atmosphere that is reigning in the Northwest and Southwest region, I want to talk of the economic atmosphere too, you will understand that uh, it is practically impossible for business inv investors to go to those two regions to invest because we know the hostility that is displayed by the, uh, the separatist fighters. Uh, they would consider any investor coming there as if he's coming to provoke them because it will be like uh, an indicator to the international community that the environment is calm, there are no grievances and all the like. But then those who have been penalized are the uh, ordinary citizens who are there that have been left jobless because you can find the case of CDC. CDC has not been operating for over three years. We find uh, other uh, business ventures, take for example houses, construction of houses that were going on in those two areas, you find that practically they have been overhauled and everything frozen. So. But in these uh, same restive regions, we equally have uh, people who live in that, uh, citizens of that area, 
uh, who uh, you know who equally have companies or enterprises there how are they really coping with the crisis I mean it's not only investors from elsewhere that come in to establish in Boya or in the yeah, in southwest or in the northwest region but then you find take example for uh, uh, of this uh, company the water company uh, Supermon you find that Supermon has been suffering a lot of uh, recurrent attacks especially from the separatist fighters and other like you find that uh, uh, the other companies we just cited CDC like I told you it's practically impossible for those companies to operate especially in a war torn zone because I can tell you that the Northwest and Southwest region it's it's war going on it's not just ordinary uh, grievances that they are tabling it is war going on this exchange of uh, gunshots on hourly daily basis and you find people still dying so uh, it's a deterrent factor and uh, those companies are, are suffering and it's really impacting the uh, the national economy of our nation. Okay, okay. Uh, Audrey, let's let's talk about this uh, the Babaju Bamenda Babaju route, which apparently government has maintained provocative silence as uh, being relayed by the Guardian Post in newspaper. The construction works on that route they were launched in 2017, and with the coming of the rains. People are suffering along that stretch of road. What is happening with that route, Sir Mutaga? Mr. Lasha Kingsley, you saw in uh, the southwest region just about two months ago, they showed uh, 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 caterpillars that were destroyed, burned by separatist fighters. You can imagine it. So you you would bear with, uh, in mind with me that the construction of the Baba Jubaminda uh, uh, stretch of road is not an easy task for the government in place because. It needs serious security to be mounted, maybe to, seek, uh, to, to uh, protect the uh, machines that will be used in constructing those uh, the roads, and then the lives of uh, the uh, workers too that will be working on that stretch of road. Uh, there isn't any guarantee that they would uh, maybe walk and leave the place um, uh, alive. So it's uh, it's still made for whosoever that thing that it, it's easy for us to talk of that stretch of road being constructed at this particular moment. So, so uh, some people, some people think that what you are saying here, the government is just using it as a pretext to run away from its responsibility, uh, which is that of fixing the road. It's That's a point. shame if they are using what I'm saying to run away because they are the ones who have been saying that there is calm in that uh, in, in in the northwest and southwest region. But to be very frank, from an objective point of view, what I just said is what is going on they do know that the situation is unbearable they are just camouflaging because if it were not on based on that i think that stretch of road would have been constructed a long because it's you don't uh, have to forget that it is the stretch of road linking the west region today to the northwest region of cameroon and even the and, southwest and even the southwest region so i want to tell you that it could be as a result of security constraint but then we shouldn't forget that we have a state in which uh, uh, money for major uh, public works, uh, yes, works, it's always been uh, uh, side phone, sometimes embezzled and other like. So we, uh, we even need to send people to carry out inquiries, maybe to audit and see whether the money that was disbursed for the construction of the Baba uh, Ju, uh, Baminda Road is still intact, kept somewhere where it has been em embezzled because I can. Uh, say not very certainly that that money is not there that's why you see the work has completely been dropped down and people are no more talking about it uh the infighting at the helm of the social democratic front SEO has taken a different yeah. <laughs> with the recent release of uh literal regional president jean michel ninja uh excluding oc joshua from the party and this time around we are reading from the guardian post that uh as you can see on your screen, the Ninja to NEC, that's the National Executive Committee, you will have to choose between OC and Littoral SDF. Sir Mataga. Second, Lasha Kingsley, we need a stronger SDF for a stronger opposition. And what is happening within the SDF does not uh, really uh, glorify the opposition. What can only wish Some people are accusing your party, I must be categorical here, that your party has a hand in what is happening. Yeah. They're trying to use Jean Michel Ninche to destabilize Asia. Uh, what do you have to say. That's that, what that, some people are saying. Like I said, we need a stronger SDF. We need a stronger SDF for this opposition in the nation to be strong. And uh, the CRM had never uh, joined politics because they wanted to 
cause orchestrate the death of any other political party because uh, it would be satanic. So anyone who thinks that the, as the CRM is uh, orchestrating the... No, because uh, they have seen the literal regional president with your, with your president, sometimes in Europe, sometimes back in Europe. It was even alleged that he was leaving the ASEAN, but finally he didn't do so. Mr. Lasha Kingsley, in my family I have two or three of my brothers who are of the CPDM and you wouldn't stop us from working together. The mere fact that we work together doesn't mean that we don't respect our political conviction. So, Mais les sources, les sources révélaient justement que Jean-Michel Nietzsche prenait de l'argent au MRC. Uh, that is something I cannot comment on it. I want to say those are street uh, uh, comments that are really, really being carried out by people who want, who lack jobs. They don't have what doing. They maybe want to animate the community with gossips and uh, all sorts of rubbish. I don't think a man of uh, Jacques Michel Nietzsche's caliber would align with the CRM to destabilize his own party because we don't dirty the same water we drink from. Okay, we don't dirty the same water we drink. And uh, uh, apparently those are just really said. Uh, I said we need a stronger SEF and the CRM will want to see the SEF remain strong. How uh, would the SEF be strong with this kind of infighting? Uh, they only have to understand that uh, problems become opportunity when the right people sit down to solve them. It could be an opportunity for a Of uh, former uh, the mayor of uh, Penja Njombe, Njombe. Yeah. poor Eric Inge, who passed on to eternity, they told us he died of COVID 19. So we have to be very careful. Uh, the CRM is aspiring to rule this nation, and we need Cameroonians to be alive. We cannot be thinking of uh, governing a nation that everyone is dead. Okay, mm -hmm. thank okay. you so much for coming. <coughs> Merci à vous une fois de plus, Madame, Messieurs. C'était des briefs. Vous prenons rendez-vous pour demain matin. Thank you, televiewers, for watching this uh, midweek edition of The Brief. The program was produced by Christian Tebon for presentation. We've been Audrey Zags and myself, Lasha Kingsley. Bye-bye. Tomorrow is another day. Thank you.